The spirit of adventure is unquenched. The crew of her fishing smack brings news of giant octopus nearby. By 2030, two thirds of our global seafood requirements could come from aquaculture. As seafood consumption increases, sustainable aquaculture must keep up with the demand. For safety net, sustainable aquaculture means only catching the right fish. If you're catching the wrong fish and you don't want them, they tend to get thrown back and that can really damage fish stocks. It puts pressure on food security because it means that we don't have enough fish or biodiversity left in the oceans. We build devices that help fishermen fish in a really sustainable way to help preserve ocean species. By emitting light that can attract and repel different species of fish. We can work with the fishermen to tune their nets so that they can catch the fish they want and the fish they don't want to catch can swim away. So we do a lot of aquaculture research at SAMS. I study microalgae and looking at how we can use different species of microalgae to improve feedstocks, nutrient bioremediation and for the aquaculture industry as a whole. Producing a fillet of fish for us to eat leads to a lot of byproducts that often are wasted. We can make high quality tasty products from these raw materials using proper processing technologies and techniques. We really have a chance here to build a more sustainable food system in Europe. Aquaculture has, in our opinion, a clear role to play. It's able to produce healthy, safe, tasty and affordable food. I only want to prove that for-profit businesses can solve real global problems and actually show that they're creating value.